Talk around changing the Rays name from the Tampa Bay Rays to the St. Petersburg Rays took another turn today. The St. Peter Petersburg City Council had a lengthy discussion with the mayor and the team. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy was in that meeting. All right, Kaylee, what's the latest? Well, the Rays co-president, Brian Ald, he says that while they want the Rays to stay here in St. Pete, if they're required to change the team's name, he says that's not going to happen. We want the Tampa Bay Rays here to stay. Of course, whether we do is ultimately in your hands and the hands of the Board of County Commissioners. The Rays co-president, Brian Ald, telling the St. Petersburg City Council Thursday there won't be a new stadium in St. Pete if they're forced to change the team's name from the Tampa Bay Rays to the St. Petersburg Rays. Our name is deliberately inclusive. Our fans live throughout Tampa Bay and West Central Florida. Council member Gina Driscoll proposed having city administrators include a name change in negotiations with the Rays for the new stadium deal, saying there's been a lot of talk around the topic and she wants to hear both sides. This is coming from the people too, and it's important to them too. St. Petersburg Mayor Ken Welch told the council a name change would distract from the city's main goal of redeveloping the historic gas plant district. We think it would be detrimental to the progress we've made, uh, if not fatal to this redevelopment. Some council members agreed. I'm all for ways to elevate St. Petersburg and making sure I, I am against talking about a name change because I think we are alienating. This is a regional asset. And the fact that it is going to be in our city is the win. Like what if we were having conversations that, you know, the Bucks wanted to change their name to the Tampa Bucks, or, you know, the Lightning wanted to change their name to the Tampa Lightning? We would, our hair would be on fire. After an hour and a half discussion, Driscoll changed her motion to ask city administrators to negotiate with the Rays on several options that would help elevate St. Pete in the deal. It passed six to two. And city administrators will have a report to present to city council in January about those discussions that were talked about today, the discussions that will be talked about with the raise on what was decided today. Driscoll also proposed talking about renaming the stadium after St. Pete and talking with broadcasters about, about making it clear that the Rays are playing in St. Pete and not Tampa, as she said, sometimes is uh, confused by on broadcast, she's mentioned. Now, Brian Ald said that after the meeting, he told me he knows that there were some ups and downs throughout this nearly hour and a half discussion this afternoon, but he thinks that they're all on the same page about trying to get St. Pete's name out there and also uh, promoting the city all together and keeping the name as is. So we'll see how this conversation continues again in January. We'll hear a report from city administrators about their conversation with the Rays about elevating St. Pete in general. Back to you guys. Right. Kaylee Tracy reporting tonight from St. Petersburg, home of the Rays. <laughs> Kaylee, thank you. All right, I'll